Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Playing Dragon Quest V, Hand of the Heavenly Bride, for the Android iOS mobile device. You can play for your 3DS, any game, any any walkthrough. This is a really good walkthrough. Well, just to toot my own horn. Anyways, in the last episode, we went through Talon Tower. We defeated Khan the Rook, or, or maybe his name was Slan the Rook. We defeated the Rook. Now we're going to head back in to fight Bishop Laja. As you can see, I healed myself in between... I know, maybe I didn't. Apparently, I didn't heal myself. But we're gonna go and heal myself. Anyways, I'd just like to apologize for... I would like to apologize for the audio of last episode. My mic, apparently, it was not connected. Or it, maybe it was. And I didn't notice that I didn't select the mic. So what are you gonna do? Anyways, uh... Yeah, I'm just back in Gotha. So yeah, I apologize for that, that audio. I have fixed it. Obviously, I made sure to double check that I was that we have the right um, headphone and mic and all that. All right, so what I'm going to do, we're going to warp back to Zenithia, and yeah, we're gonna head into the tower once again, and we are going to pretty much defeat Laja or take him on and get that eye. God damn it, I want that eye. I want that money! But yeah, um... Yeah, okay, so this is the official start of the episode, really. But anyways, uh, yeah, I just healed up. We're ready to roll. We're gonna take on Bishop Laja. And yeah, it's gonna be good. So yeah, um... Uh, what the hell was I gonna say? I don't know, but this, this next part's not too bad. Honestly, um, you think Laja was hard before? Well, honestly, when we fought him, we were we were what six? So it's been what 18 years since we fought him last. Yeah, yeah, right. Because it was 10 years as a kid, and then eight years. Yeah, so it's been 18 years since we fought him before, and I am much stronger. I dare say stronger than Pancrantz or Pappas, but who knows? I, I honestly don't know. I, I won't. Uh, pretty much by the end of the game, obviously, we'll be stronger than Pappas. All right, here's some enemies. Musifer. Yeah, these guys got. These guys are like really good versions of. Um, they're like a, the complete package. These guys. They got that cool beard. They got really strong arms. Look at that, that chest, man. He's got a moose. He's like a satyr kind of guy. He's awesome. Oh, look at that! Yeah, sure. We'd I'd love to get this guy in the group. Although, sadly, uh, I don't need anyone right now. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Honestly, if I was doing a monster party besides... Besides, uh, obviously my kids would be in the group, but, like, if I was just doing a monster group, and yeah, here's Laja, the bastard. And yeah, make sure that everybody's healed up pretty good, but, uh, <clears throat> what was I gonna say? Oh, if uh, I had to do a monster group, I would definitely have that guy, I would include that guy for sure. But, right now I'm just gonna use the human characters, but yeah, here we go. Laja, yes, I do remember you. All right, so now it's time to take on Bishop Laja. All right, so first thing we want to do is we want to cast Insulate. Because this guy does breath attacks. What we're going to do is cast Oomph. I think this guy has 4,200 HP, I think. So yeah, we're going to cast Insulate, and now we're going to... Yeah, that's what I like to see. We're going to cast Kabuff, we're going to do Kasap, and attack. There we go. Oh, look, he used Bounce. Now, what we could do to counteract that is we could use the Zenithian Sword, but I'm not going to bother. Let's see. Do another Kabuff. 
do an oomph on two pence and attack. Yeah. Yeah, that's nasty. Alright, let's see. Attack. Heal yourself. With Sophie, I'll cast Oomph on Isaac. So when he attacks... Yeah, he, he does two attacks sometimes. Alright. Isaac, full heal, Kenshin, keep attacking. Yeah, Kenshin is obviously the strongest fighter, so... And right now I don't really have anything for Sophie to do other than cast Oomph on herself. Nothing. Especially the two pence. He's got over 300. While well, he's got 300 HP, so he can easily take a, a hundred damage and be fine. Oh, good. His bounce wears off. And yeah, this is why you want to put insulate. Otherwise, you get hurt really bad there. Okay. Let's do a multi-heal. Let's do... Uh, let's try Kasap again. I don't know if I took away enough of his uh, defense. Okay. Apparently we did. We took enough. Papas. Oh, now he's all he's doing is this flame bullshit. All right, multi heal again. Oh no, full heal on two pence. Uh, yeah. So yeah, this, th he's, uh, he can be really difficult, especially if he attacks twice. Oh yeah, we beat you, you son of a bitch. Yeah, that's right. It only is fitting that I go up a level. Yay, you too. All right, we beat him. Yeah, well, that was, like I said, 18 years ago. What? What are you talking about? I, I kicked your ass. Yeah. What the hell? So yeah, Bishop Laja doesn't die. That's right, it's a little different from the Super Nintendo version. Because he doesn't die here. We'll meet him one more time. But yeah, that guy, he, he could be really difficult, so... We beat him. So let's get the tre let's get the other Dragon Eye. Alright. Got the right eye. But yeah, so, uh... Our vengeance for Pancrantz is... Held off just a little longer. That son of a bitch. Honestly, if you want to know my opinion, this is why... This is why I think that this game... Really sort. Oh, Isaac died. Let's bring him back. This is honestly why I think this game soars above the other ones. Because you have a bad guy... Who... Keeps pestering you, right? And... Pretty much... He's like, like he's one of the top bad guys in the, in in the Dragon Quest series. If you gotta, if you have to pick like a bad guy, like he kills your father, he turns you and your wife to stone, he steals a dragon eye, he taunts you with that last battle. 
so apparently he's still stronger than you can even think of, man. Which means we must get stronger. But yeah, that, that's why I like this game, because the bad guy is present. It's not like... Well, I mean, the main dude isn't, but... It's not like the other role-playing games where, like, sometimes you fight this big bad boss at the end of the game, and it's like, what does he have to do with anything? You know? It's, you know, not to knock I Am Setsuna, but that kind of, that, that was the kind of feel of that and, you know, with the boss there. It's like, oh, you know, oh, okay, apparently, apparently this guy is controlling all the monsters or whatever. But we never heard of him until literally the last two battles, two or three battles of the game. And when we're going through the final dungeon. That game was good, but there was definitely some faults in it, for sure. And I'm wondering if I missed a treasure here that was on the ground. Yeah, I'll, I'll, have, to, I'll have to check later. Anyways, we pretty much defeated all the monsters here. Alright, so let's go down. Let's put the dragon's eye. There's one. And there is two. Holy smokes. He opens his eye and sticks out his tongue. Too bad we can't just fall right on there. Oh no, I don't think I missed a treasure. Unless there's one right behind... Unless there's one right behind the, uh... The dragon statue I might have missed, but I don't think so. I mean, I'll have to come back here and double check. So yeah, now we're in this area where we will not have to find any monsters. Nah, I don't think there's any ferocious creatures here. Now, I wonder if the Zenithian dragon, if he sealed his powers away in here, right? Or did someone, someone, did he build, was this tower already here? Did he build it and then he took, you know, he sealed his powers over here? I don't know. But here we get the wet, uh, this amazing item right here. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome item. And yes, this is the Dragon Staff. The best weapon in the game for Kenshin. The main character. Besides the, uh, you know, metal sword. No, I don't want to discard that. The liquid metal sword It is the best weapon in the game. And if you use it in battle, if you use it as an item in battle, it will cast Bee Dragon. Or, uh, Poof or whatever. And uh, pretty much turn Kenshin into a dragon. Although, at this point, it's not worth doing because... Uh, it's because of um, a lot of the monsters that would be susceptible to dragon fire and stuff will, are not in this area. But yeah, that's his most badass staff. If they ever put made Dragon Quest Heroes and added him in it, it would be great for him to get that staff. And yeah, this is the power of the Zenithian Dragon right in this orb over here. So yeah, he must have sealed this away himself. Maybe this tower was already here. He came here and he sealed his powers and left. But where the hell did he go? And where the hell are we supposed to bring it? Like, obviously... Probably gotta bring it back to Zenithia. But how how is this going to restore the dragon? Alright, let's go. Back to Zenithia. Yeah, now what are we gonna do? Well, I already have an idea of what we are gonna do, honestly. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna go up here. We'll, uh, we're gonna go up here. The stairs. And look, there's some guards. Yeah. 
Yeah, not many people have ever been to Zenithia. And yeah, two pence are here. What do you mean? Well, he doesn't really have wings, so that is kind of odd. Oh, so apparently he's been an imposter? Is that what you guys are getting at? Look, I just want to talk to uh, you. Yeah. Well, we're doing good. Yeah, you can look at the orb, sure. What do you mean? Holy crap! You... It's the Zenithian dragon. Yeah, man. Yeah, okay, so Grandmaster Nismo wants to take over. But we have to stop the evil. And now, yeah, we get the Zenithian Tinta Bone. I like to call it the Dragon, uh, the Dragon Bell. So yeah, we can, we can get his assistance whenever we want. Who would have thought that Dragon was, uh, doc Dr. Agon was really the Zenithian Dragon? To be honest, it kind of reminds me of, if you've seen that movie Dogma, where God went down to Earth and they were trying to save whatever, and they had to get God back, and he was down on Earth. Yeah, so we, we helped restore this Nethian dragon back to its former glory. And that means that maybe with him, he, we can get some, some help. So there we go. Let's check out this, uh, let's check out this, uh, well, let's zoom over to Gotha. I want to heal up. Because, uh, pretty much there's only one area now that we cannot access, that we can now access due to the Zenithian Dragon. That place would be the Order of Zugwug, or the Crocodolopolis. And, yeah, we're gonna go there. It's the only, it's the last place in, in the world that we have not checked. And yeah, I think I'm gonna keep two pins in my group. I should probably put Barongo in it. But that's alright. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'd be kind of funny if he flies us around on a minecart. But yeah, um... What else do I gotta say about this Zenithian dragon? Yeah, so... We must summon from a place that's more open. What the hell, man? Pick me up! How about right here? This is kind of open. What the hell, Zenithian dragon? Jeez, how much more open can you be with a desert? Alright, now let's try it. And there we go! We are now flying on the Zenithian Dragon, how awesome is that? And he can get us as high as... He can get us pretty high, is what I'm saying. And yeah, so let's see, where the hell is Crocodilopolis? The Order of Zugwan, we want to get rid of these guys. They're up to no good! And maybe this is the final place where Bianca would be. Oh, here we go. Alright, welcome to Crocodilopolis, or whatever. Let 
Yeah, well, we are pretty high up in the sky, so, yeah. It's pretty much, you know, this place is really high up. We escaped here a long time ago. And, yeah. Look at that! What is that? Yeah, if you did not have the, um, the final key or the ultimate key, you wouldn't be able to get in here. And we get to fight a snake chama. And there we go. Dead. I think in this area, yeah, okay, yeah. Your your characters who were in the wagon, quote unquote, will also get experience. And look at this, we get the Zenithian armor. Now our hero, our son has all of the Zenithian gear. Yay! So let's equip it. Let's organize all the items. And, uh, yeah, let's sort the bag. Now let's get this Zenithian armor out. Let's see, where the hell is it? Where is it? There it is. Yeah, it d impedes damage from magic and ice-based attacks. So that's pretty good. So I think his only weakness right now would be... Would probably be fire. But that's alright. Alright, I don't think there's anything else here. Yeah, I'm gonna put this back in Kenshin's, uh... Or no, I'll put it in Sophie. You can hold on to the bell. Ha ha ha. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. No, he wasn't alarming. What are you talking about? We knew, we knew we were gonna have to fight a guard. So let's come over here. Open up this thing. And see what we got. TNT ticket, another one. Which we will be needing pretty good. And yeah, in case you didn't know, this was a place where we pretty much had to work as a slave they give us the surfware. But yeah, in the next episode, we are... Yeah. Yeah, we're very high up. And it's very cold. Because we are pretty high up. Yeah, who would have believed that they would have put a giant building here? Anyways, we're going to stop the video here in the next episode. We will head into Crocodilopolis and see what's going on with the Order of Zugzwan. This has been Kenshin1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.